Hey everyone, are you ready to explore this brand new 2021 camper trailer? is incredible. It is an off-grid, off-road, extreme below zero degree trailer. And we're up here in the mountains. I think the temperature is right around 20 degrees. And we've been staying in this for the last few days. And we've seen zero degree weather up here. Tonight, we're supposed to hit negative three, tomorrow negative five. So we are really, truly putting this thing to the test. So I hope you're excited. We are known for carrying some of the best trailers in America, and we don't bring on a trailer lightly. It's a very hard thing. We have to truly love it and believe in the product before we're willing to start carrying another line. And so we're typically carrying very nice, nice trailers. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this trailer. I'm really impressed with the manufacturer, um, phenomenal people, uh, and this is a good quality trailer. Now we've seen it below zero and it performed wonderfully. We're yet to get all the way to 40, but I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, I've been sleeping in this trailer and it goes below zero and, and, and is comfortable. Let's get into some details. This is a toy hauler version. Now this ramp door will open up. The ramp door is rated for a thousand pounds. You have some area up here for some storage, jerry can holders. Over here you have the high lift jack extreme. If you come look over here, so we're gonna pop those out. This guy slides up and then these just come all the way around. You also have some recovery D-rings right here. Now let's talk about some of the construction. Um, walls, roof, floor, how they're constructed. The walls um, are an R13 and the way they're constructed is very, very cool. Um, things that I've not seen in other manufacturers. Now it is all aluminum. So the, the walls are aluminum welded. The roof trusses are also an aluminum. It's an A-frame aluminum um, roof. So it is a little curved, so it has good runoff, which is really important. It's not a flat roof. The exterior is all fiberglass. It also, it's an 85 millim, and that's really important because the next, you know, in this industry, next travel trailers sizes that are most common is about half that size. And this fiberglass is gonna be easy to work with. If it gets scratched, you're gonna be able to um, actually repair it a lot easier. It's bolted to the frame with three eighths inch lag bolts. So it's actually bolted on and the roof is bolted to the walls. This actually has a three pound inch and a half foam board super high density. And then this is what's really cool is instead of using a rectangular hollow stud, they actually use C or H channels. And what's important to understand about this is what they actually do is they slide in the foam board into this aluminum stud, right? And so now you've just eliminated a lot of potential airspace where the whole temperature can conduct right through the aluminum stud and into your paneling, right? Inside your trailer. So this is really, really neat how they've worked this. So the foam board inserts into the aluminum studs, um, the H channels or C channels. Same with the roof. Um, all aluminum, A-frame roof, it's curved. But now the roof is an R24 unbelievable right and this roof is going to have a batten insulation then it's also going to have that same high density um three pound foam board which is going to be inserted into the aluminum studs also and then below it there is a, a call what they what they call a vapor barrier and i've never heard of anybody doing this in the industry at all um and they do this in the walls and the roof um, the ceiling, which you'll see inside, um, below that vapor barrier, they do a tongue and groove cedar ceiling. It's really pretty. It kind of feels like you're in a cabin up in the woods. It's really neat, but we'll get inside in a little bit. I want to talk about the windows. These are a dual pane. These are a 33 inch tire. They're sitting on a 15 inch rim 
and they're a load range C. It actually comes in at a dry weight of 5,200 pounds. Um, you have a cargo capacity of 3,620 pounds. The total length on it is 23 foot four inches. The width of the body is 93 inches and the ground to, flo to the top of the roof is 120 inches. Now let's talk about ground clearance. The in drive mode, this actually goes up and down. It's on a hydraulic system. In the actual lifted off-road mode, you can get up to 20 inches of ground clearance. And now we are sitting at the maximum ground clearance of 20 inches. And now look at that within just uh, less than 30 seconds you, you're down at the lowest setting you know so you can those chair those stairs actually adjust they have adjustable settings so you, if you want to be lower to the ground and not have to step as high down that first step you can it's it's the convenience and this is where you're going to put it down really low get your stuff in now let's bring it back up to our ground clearance that we want and the underneath the way it's designed there is nothing underneath this frame. Everything is built above the frame. So if you're out off-roading, you're not going to be knocking off your sewer lines. You're not gonna be hitting water lines. You're not gonna be hitting axles because the axles actually come up and go through the actual frame. So very unique design. This awning is electric, auto in and out. You have a nice ladder here that can access your roof. It's a very hard, fiberglass, honeycomb. It is walkable. Up on the roof, you have a max air vent fan. You also have a air conditioning unit up there and you have walkable solar panels. They're flat solar panels. They're 100 watts each and there's two of them. So you have a total of 200 watts and that comes stock with the trailer. Um, this particular model, we got a rooftop tent. You also have parameter lights all the way around. Down here, you have a battery box. There's 66 amp hours, so a total of 132 um, amps. Over here, let's look at this. This is a huge, huge frame. The actual chassis, the underneath of the trailer is steel. It's a powder coated steel. Everything, everything you see on this trailer is powder coated very nicely um, to prevent the rusting. This hitch is pretty cool. It's a lock and roll. I wanna call it a rock and roll. It goes in this direction on the truck itself over here. This goes side to side. So you have that all that articulation for off-roading and it locks in really securely. Never have been worried about it at all. You have your propane. Here you have this really nice heavy duty rubber rock guard. You do have an outside shower. And over here you have a 30 amp plug. You might say, wait, Where's, where, look down here. Where's all your um, sewer things that should be dangling off the, <laughs> off the bottom and, you know, get crushed when you're driving? No, this is above the frame right here. You can see the still frame right here. This is right here and it's a gray. Here we are back in the back side of it and it is pre-wired for a camera. You have these nice LED lights let's go over to the door and get inside it is freezing and i am my toes are starting to uh go numb so i want to get inside i should have wore boots today are you ready to step inside and explore this trailer Side. Like I said, lots of space. Um, actually, floor to ceiling is six foot four inches. Oh, and I feel like I have plenty of headroom. I, I mentioned the storage. Storage is really, really great in here. Um, but let me tell you, do you know what causes things to break very easily? Um, slamming things. Slamming things breaks things, right? 
What's really nice about all the cabinetry in here, besides that you have tons of storage, is actually the gas assisted struts and the soft close. As you can see, look, no slamming. Uh, now, if you actually try to slam it, it doesn't slam. And then it actually locks. That is really good. Um, quality, quality buses do this. Um, just like I mentioned, tons and tons of storage. And once again, soft close. Doesn't, and it's slam resistant, right? So really nice. And then you just lock it this way. You got some nice little cubbies that you can throw, you know, hats and gloves. Um, you also have a little place where you can put cell phones or whatever miscellaneous items. You have actually, these are USB. You have two in there. And then you have plugs. So there's a total of nine USB ports and six outlets. This is really cool. Um, this is this actually comes off so you can go set it outside. This is your main speaker. It charges itself on this port right here. It's Bluetooth. The speaker's pretty nice. It's also a flashlight. So, you know, if you need a quick flashlight without having to get in your drawers, you can just pull that off the wall. You can leave it here and it stays charging. So come over here and take a look at these switches. Let's move on over here. I wanted just to kind of show you the closet because this is really nice. There's a coat closet here um, with hangers. This fridge, it's a Furion, comes with a two year warranty and it is giant. This is at the end of our trip. As you can see, we have no more food. We're going to starve to death. Look down at the bottom row, bottom row. That's Kirkland cheese. That's Costco cheese. Look how big that's the giant bag and it fits perfectly. And look at this, a soda, a 12 pack of soda um, in long ways and it fits just fine. This fridge is huge. I love how they lock in. See these things right here, these clip in and it's so they, these shelves cannot actually slide in and out. They're very, very sturdy and just tight into there. The freezer is also huge. As we went down into Baja, California, Mexico, we actually had Thanksgiving. We went down there for 10 days, 10 or 11 days during Thanksgiving, and we actually got giant Costco pies in here, pumpkin and pecan pie. So this thing is really, really big. Now this stove and oven range is very beautiful. We used this last night, we were cooking on it. it, has some nice little details, got your light. If you come down into here, you have an oven and your oven has a nice light too. The trailer manufacturer itself is a one year warranty. So the house, the construction, the quality, the components, all of this stuff is going to come with a one year warranty from the Explore Imperial RV outdoors. Uh, the Furion and the appliances are different in that they come with their own warranty from directly from the manufacturer. So Furion, fridge and stove are gonna come with a two year warranty. Dometic, which is our air conditioning unit, which is a 13,500 BTU AC unit is gonna come with a one year warranty. Any Dometic stuff is gonna be one year. This is thermostat controlled. So when I talk about the thermostat controlled, it is right here. This is Dometic. And this thermostat is really nice and really easy to use. This controls your AC unit and your furnace and your fan. While we're right here, I'm gonna talk about the furnace. Earlier, it's a 13,680 BTU furnace. It runs at 34 watts per hour continuous, continuously, or 4.5 amps, depending on how you like to convert. Now these countertops, they uh, they have a nice look to them. It looks like a uh, stone. It is a, it's actually a laminate, so it's not, it's supposed to be a very quality um, laminate though. And this is has this undermounted looking type of sink that's actually built into this cabinet. Um, but the sink is it's very large. Um, it's got some good depth to it. And then you have this nice metal fixture too that comes in. Over 
over here, the TV, I wanna show this. Um, it's a Jensen TV. It does work off a of 12 volt. It also has a nice mount that comes out. These are good for RVs, vibration tested. Um, it comes all the way back and, you know, kind of swivels around, gives you lots of movement. And then this right here, this big bolt right here, that locks that in. So when you're driving down the road, it sits nice and firm against the wall. I just want to talk about the walls again. Um, if you recall, we did, I was telling you about how we did some thermal, um, with the thermal camera on the ceiling, the walls, and you really don't see the joists is because of the way it's designed with that vapor barrier. It's about a three inch wall, super thick. The floors are, are actually, all, they're only an inch and a half thick, which is pretty amazing. I mean, when you consider a lot of trailers use plywood, <laughs> that's only half inch plywood or one inch, depending on what they use. Um, so it actually has, it's a special floor. It's a, that poly woven um, front and back high density foam board. It's super, super strong, but it actually has an R value of 11, which is really amazing. So the floor has an R, R value of 11. The walls have an R13. The roof is six and a half inches thick and has an R value of R24. Now I'm going to show you this bunk bed. It's really nice. You have a little, you actually have a key so you can lock it and nobody can run it if you don't want it to. And then if you step back, you can see it comes down. This is the bed. It's about four feet wide, over six feet long, just over six feet long. Um, the camera guy, Jordan, has been sleeping on it and he's six foot two. Um, Michael has slept on it and he's six foot one. Um, now over here you have the, uh, this is a PWM solar charge controller. Um, it also has this nice little fancy phone app. Um, so it is Bluetooth capable. You click on that, it's to work. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for. I know this is the most exciting part of the tour, the grand finale, the bathroom. There is, there is room in here to move around, right? You know, if I was showering, got your little soap things right here. Um, and look, if I'm showering right here, it's right under my head, six feet. If I say this is a bar of soap, I drop my bar of soap down in the corner. I can actually, I can bend down. There's a little thing you can put your foot here and shave your legs, which is nice. Here in the bathroom area, you can see there's a plug here so you can get your blow dryer, whatever you need. Uh, open this up. You got a good amount of storage here for your toiletries. And then you can come down here. You have a lot more storage down here for miscellaneous items, towels, I suppose, or toilet paper. Welcome to the toilet. This is, this is literally the grand finale. We're, we're at the end. Um, nice little porcelain lid here. Um, this is not a regular toilet. This is what they call a dry flush toilet. It doesn't smell at all. I don't smell anything actually. And I have a really good sniffer and I don't smell anything. It is completely sealed up. You know, RVs, you have to have special RV toilet paper, right? You gotta go down and get the special stuff that's twice as expensive. Nope, not with this toilet. You can use your Charmin, quadruple, padded, whatever the heck you use. And this thing will suck it up and take it in and it's, it sucks into a bag down in there. And you can't smell it, um, you can't see it. It's, 
it's gone. And once you're done camping, you literally pull that bag up and throw it in a trash can, throw it in a dumpster. It's done. It's, 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 it's super, super easy. I, I really like it. Honestly, I'm really, really sold by it. They do have these nice corners, right? So like, I don't know how you do your business, but if you're a right hand wiper and you wipe from behind, because when I first saw it, I'm like, how am I going to use this toilet? Right? I don't know. It's like too tight, but it's actually not. It works. It works great. I have plenty of room for my... now if you're a left hander, it still might work but over here. We got a switch that turns on and off the light, which is nice. The details, right? It's all about the details. I'm been very impressed with this trailer, honestly. Um, like I said, I've now spent a good amount of time. I ha I've had it parked at my house for almost a month during the whole month of December. I started this video with telling you RVs of America, we don't just bring on a trailer um, with unless we believe in it. Because to us, it's not, you know, to me, I believe that money, like making money is a side effect of giving good service or a, or as I should say a cause it's cause and effect you know the cause and effect of giving a good product a good service into the marketplace when you do that people pay you money you know so we don't you know there are I see in the world where it's like you know let's just bring on every trailer so we can just sell 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 and it, and it just becomes this money transactional thing and <laughs> to be frank with you, we've been in business for 13 years and in the beginning there probably was some of that going on, but you know, you, you, as long as you're always trying to grow and progress and change in your life, you, you start to find that, you know, the transactions and the money are the boringest, the most boring part of the business. It's, it's not fun. It's way more fun to give great service and wow people and, and, and create a community of people. And that, and that's what we're doing here at RVs of America. We, we, we want to, we have a community of friends and, and people, and we try to deliver amazing service, but we don't just want to deliver amazing service and an amazing experience. We also want to deliver good product, product that we believe in product that we can stand behind and say, yeah, this is a great, it's not just a great trailer, but it's also a great company, you know, and, and explore. They are a great company. They're a great trailer. I hope you've enjoyed this video tour. Come out, take a look at it, become a roamer, and then you can get on some adventures with us in the future. We're really, really excited about this new trailer. And I, I'm really, I've become more and more of a believer in it in the last few months since we've been using it, testing it, going out and, um, you know, really actually trying to experience what a owner would experience in the trailer. Cause that's what we want to do. We don't want to just sell something we don't have any experience in. And like I said, I did tests on it over and over in my house and uh, <laughs> the test results have always been in the favor of this Explore. This Explore has outperformed all of the heat tests, all of the, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, it's been very, very, very beyond, um, my expectations actually it's it's out overperformed so far so thank you so much for watching subscribes and bells and notification things and we'll hopefully see you out on a trail exploring together